sunglasses. Okay, great. And uh, not the sunglasses, Alana. Late one night in August 2015, a car snuck out of the city of Mosul in the country of Iraq, her mother and her four daughters and one son. But Sura had decided they could not leave without their beloved cat, Kunkush. Sura prayed that the cat, hidden in a small carrier, would stay quiet. On the fourth day, they reached a Kurdish village. They walked three hours along the beach until they were told to put on life jackets. Do you see that pile of life jackets? Mm -hmm. Kunkush and his family were crammed aboard a flimsy rubber boat. But there were more than 60 men, women, and children on the boat. Look at that. Plus one secret cat. As soon as the boat reached the beach, panicky, shivering passengers scrambled to get off. Wet and frightened, Kunkush pushed his way out of the broken door of his carrier. Look how scary he is. The local cats seemed to know he was a stranger. They hissed and spat and chased him away. Amy bathed and scrubbed him until he was clean. Five minutes after his bath, the exhausted cat collapsed face down, mid meow, and slept. That sounds like you sometimes. Amy's friend Michelle, back in the United States, made a Facebook page for him. Before long, news stories about the lost cat appeared around the whole world. And then on Valentine's Day, the family saw their lost cat on a news website. They were waiting eagerly for him. Then she burst into tears as Doug placed Kunkush in her arms. Ma Habibi, she murmured. That's Arabic for my darling. The entire family crowded around their long lost pet. After four months and thousands of miles, Kunkush and his family were finally together in their new home. You gotta show me, which, which was your favorite p picture? This one? You mean when, when the whole family and the cat were reunited? Can you imagine if you had to leave and travel by a boat with all that you had? Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of scary, huh? Yeah, and they look they're going back. They had to go back because all the water's coming in, right? Mm -hmm. And they could have drowned. All of the little, the little toys that you have that you love so much, if you had to get rid of them just so that you could protect yourself and your family, That'd be tough. Okay, Alana, which, which is your favorite cat here? Um, this one. Kunkush? No, I mean that one and that one and that one and that one. You like them all? No, I like this one, 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 and this one and that one. That's a lot of cats.